What's up, guys? Welcome to the live stream. I got something kind of funky today. It's more or less, uh, hopefully going to be a quick one because I got to go to work. But um, it's this Visor app, right? It's for Android. Definitely feeling better, Sound Chaser. What's up, everybody in the chat? Um, it's this Android app called Visor. V-Y-S-O-R does not require root and it should allow me to share this screen with you guys without root. It requires a few things. One is its own USB cable plugged into the computer, right? So I got to have a cable comes out from the phone into the computer. The other one is to enable developer options, which I've shown you guys how to do on the shield multiple times. Um, what's up, Thorn? What's up, Adam? Uh, I've shown you guys how to do this multiple times, uh, on the shield. It's the same thing on your phone. You just go to settings of the device, scroll to about phone. All right. Click on that. And in there, you're going to look for at the bottom of the phone. Uh, let's get that to show up. It says build number right there. You're just going to keep slapping build number until it says you are a developer. Mine says no need, you are already a developer. I've already done what I needed to do, but you need that. And then you need ADB drivers if you're on a PC, which I'm gonna have to get, right? And you can either get them for your phone, if you can find the ADB drivers for your phone, <laughs> sub jugs, or you can search for them, right? So, uh. I can search ADB drivers pixel 3 XL because that's what I have. Um, and they do have it. Or I can do Google Play Visor app. And if I go here, right, let's go to this. Okay, here is the app. You install this on your phone. And it tells you under read more, install visor for Android, follow the instructions for getting USB bugging enabled. You can watch this video. I already know how to do that because inside of developer options on your phone, once you have developer options, you go into it. And there's just an option to turn on USB debugging. It's near the top. That's all you really got to do. Um, download the Visor Chrome app. I've already done that, which is right here. So you would just click this. I'll show it to you. Copy. Paste. Visor. I already have it. It would say install app if you didn't have it, but I already have it. Um, so I will close that. And then Windows users will need to install ADB drivers. Now, these are the drivers that they give you. So I'm going to copy this, go into a new window, paste it. I'm going to try to do it with their drivers. So all it did was download these drivers right down here. They're behind me. I can say show in folder. There it is. So I'm going to hit it. And Please disconnect your Android device before installing universal ADB driver on your computer. I don't have my Android device connected. It's going to be where it's going. Leave it alone. Next. The installer is ready. Click next. And let it install. Hopefully it does install and doesn't just stay on please wait forever. Do you want to allow this app to make changes? Yes. Sorry if it black screened you for a second. And installation is completed. Click close to exit. That was it. So that's installed, right? And good morning, Kiko. Morning, Carl. That's it. It says you're good to go. So what do I got to do? Well, I don't know. I have all of the stuff I need. I did that in no time flat. Just to show you guys real quick. Once you've made yourself a developer, all right, 
You, however you get into the settings on your phone, you're going to get into them and you're going to find in my phone, it's under system. All right. Let me try to show you guys this. It's under system and then advanced and developer options right there. And debugging is a section USB debugging. I've turned it on. That's it. That's all you need to do. All right. Um, so I guess I'm going to plug my phone into the computer now with this cable. And we'll see what happens. Allow USB debugging. It shows up on the screen. Okay. Oh, it didn't like that on my camera. It doesn't like that. But it's got a notification. I can't bring it closer, unfortunately, but it's asking me to allow USB debugging. I'm going to check always allow from this computer and say, OK. Visor has detected an Android device. View Android with visor. I have this option right now. It's connecting. And let's see if I can bring it into this stream. Okay, uh, I have settings here. Let me see what I can do in the settings. Uh, bu -bu -bu. View, share, go to wireless, device settings. Oh, it took me into the device settings. All right, so it's video bit rates. I need a little bit better bit rate than this. This video quality feature is only available to Visor Pro users. So I'm going to click upgrade. Wow. Okay. So to use Visor Pro, allow, I have to upgrade. It's $250 monthly, $10 annually, $40 lifetime. That's pretty crazy. Um, So should I upgrade it? Let's not upgrade it right now. Let's make sure it works first. I'll upgrade it if it works because this will be useful for me to help you guys see things and learn things on the phone. Um, but let's go ahead and show you guys my screen. Let's see if I can get this in here as a source, All right? Let's try it. I'm going to go here, add, we're going to add a, I don't know if it's a cap, this was going to be considered a capture device. I'm going to try window capture compatible with, no, yeah, I'll try window capture first and add a new source instead, I'm going to call this visor and what is going on here don't want all that uh, add source hmm All right, so it's coming up as interesting. That's the screen. You guys see it's black there, but it's supposed to be showing my phone. But it's not. So I'm going to say done. I'm going to see if I move this around, can I do something? See, so you guys can see the cursor on it, but you can't see the phone. I can see the phone, but you can't. Which is interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to delete visor.
Do I want to remove it? Yes. What exactly does Visor do, Thunder says? Visor is an app that lets you share your Android screen without root onto a PC or even control your phone. So can I address the source settings in Streamlab? No. Uh, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to capture the window, I think. Or capture the screen, maybe. Let's see. I got the only one up here. Um, Display capture. I don't want to display this capture browser source. Huh. I think I have no choice but to try this one. Let's see if this works. Add source, new one instead. I'm gonna call that add source. And uh, that does not want to. Still doesn't want to show. I know how I can make it show, but no matter what I do, it will not actually show it on the screen. So I'm going to have to do it this way for now. Going to remove visor. And I'm just going to go to this because you can see it here. All right. If I make it, no, it won't allow me to go full screen mode must be enabled in settings. Okay. So here's my settings, right? Um, oh, look, status web video stream. I wonder if this would work. Web audio stream. <clears throat> I can try this. Let's see. The web video stream is only available for Visor Pro users. So apparently what it needs me to do, this is my home screen though, and I can control this as you can see by using the mouse. All right, so it is working, but I think I need Visor Pro in order to... Um, in order to make this work. Use mobile to PC app in the Play Store. Uh, I can try that, but I want to use Visor because Visor is universally recommended as something that is supposed to be the best. So the quality of this is not that good, but if I look at the settings, all right, I need, see here's full screen mode, right? Yes, Visor allows for control of the phone via PC uh, jugs, which I don't believe is possible in mobile to PC. <clears throat> um, yeah, full screen is only available to Visor Pro users, so I can't change this, but look, I can go up to different quality as long as I have Visor Pro. And I can control the phone and do whatever I want, right? I can open this up look at my apps so it's my dash cam it'll load up the quality just doesn't look very good because it's low but we have made a successful connection anyway and it was easy and quick so that's a good start so if I want to go back I don't know how to do back oh I got to do it down here back okay so <clears throat> it's an easy and good start. The reason I want this, okay, to for you guys anyway, 
is so that I can show you guys things on the phone easily, even without controlling on the PC, I could go ahead and go to premiumize. All right. And now you guys can see that a lot easier than me holding it on my screen. All right. Uh, Cheryl says, can I update Android if you have 4.4 to 17 to 18? No. 4.4 uh, shouldn't even technically do 17. But um, the advisor is $199 a month or $40 lifetime. Uh, Dirty Harry put that in there. That's $199 a month. It can be $40 for, for lifetime. Um, Black Entertainment TV said, see, that's why I said mobile to PC. But can you control your phone? With mobile to PC like this. Can I do whatever I want. By clicking on my PC. And I, as a streamer. Am I able to change the bit rates. And all that stuff with mobile to PC too. To make it look better. Or capture audio. Or have a video streaming source. That comes in. Or is it just basically control your phone and it shows up on your PC, but you have to do everything from the phone. That's the question. Because if I can do everything this can do, then it wouldn't be worth it for me to pay for it. But if it can't do all the things that this can do, then I'd rather pay the 40 bucks, be able to go into my settings, right? And look, people are typing in Jugger Nation. <laughs> but I'd rather be able to go into the settings, make it full screen, change my stuff, my, my uh, bit rate up to something higher, put default settings, and get my video stream. Because I can definitely take this once I have, um, once I have Pro and add this right into my stream. And size it however I want. Okay, so you have to do everything from the phone. So um, it's in the, I'll definitely check it out. And I'll show that one in another video. But uh, I would think I want to get pro on this. And see what happens. So I'm going to sit hit cancel here. And I'm going to close this down. This connection. Alright, go back to my solo live webcam. And see if I can go to Pro from the app here. Next. Apparently I can't do anything from the app here. So I guess I got to do it from the phone, from the, uh, from the computer. So I'm going to disconnect my phone from this cable. Reconnect it. And it should tell me, yep, view Android with visor. gonna freeze me because it's that's the USB stuff all right so I'm back in I'm gonna go back to here and I'm gonna go ahead and hit my settings I'm gonna try to change this to two megabits a second upgrade and I'm gonna say upgrade now and I can buy with PayPal buy with Google buy with credit card I'm gonna use PayPal I like PayPal. Oh, it says the advertisement will be shown every 15 minutes while viewing an Android. Purchase Visor Pro to remove. Well, that's interesting. I hit to buy it, but I don't see it on my screen anywhere. Oh, wait. It's asking me to pay with PayPal over here. Um... So I'm going to come back to my solo live webcam while I do that. Next. Not now. It's always trying to get me to turn on one touch. I don't trust those one touch things. So I am going to. It's $39.99. I'm going to continue. We're sending you back to Visor Inc. to complete this purchase. Visor, thanks for your purchase. Please open Visor's purchase screen to automatically retrieve your license. 
Visor will open automatically to retrieve your license. Uh, will it? It does say Visor Pro now. I'm gonna go to View. Yep, it did it automatically. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. So apparently I have this now. Uh, it says get the standalone visor desktop app for better performance too. I'm gonna click there and see what it gives me. Download visor for Windows. I bet you I can capture it now with that. Download. Windows. Uh, why is it not downloading? blocked to do it that way that's weird it's not showing the app but it is downloaded all right so let's go back here real quick to my phone So there it is. I should now be able to go full screen. Full screen mode must be enabled in settings. Let's go full screen mode. All right, and you can see I'm changing my data rate. All right, so let me go back into settings again, just up here. And let's do default high. Use high quality settings. Can mute your Android and mirror audio to your computer by clicking the headphone icon in the toolbar above. You guys aren't hearing me twice, are you? I don't think so, because I don't have the actual source coming in. No, okay. So I'm going to save that now. So this is high settings. The quality looks pretty clear and clean. Um, it looks way better than it did, at least on my screen, uh, before. So if I open like my Alcan real quick, yeah, the quality is so much crisper. Um, so that's good. And I can click back. And I can see all my stuff, right? I'm not doing that very well, but I guess I got to start over there. It's slow on this higher one. There we go. So that's my, my Google stuff. It, it works. I can drag it across. I only have one screen. But I gotta get used to that. I gotta start on the edge if I'm gonna do that and go all the way. Come on. There we go. All right. So that's cool. So if I go in here and I hold this and go up, yep, that works. So I'm doing this. I'm using my mouse uh, scroll wheel now. My scroll wheel on the mouse is switching this around. So let's go into um, Chrome, right? So this is where I was looking at visor. I can type with my keyboard right in here and do like, uh, hold on. Nope, I don't want to go there. <laughs> it keeps giving me this because I keep sending this link out to people. Everyone that asks for where's the adult section, guys, go here. <laughs> I copied that. I don't want this. Hold on. No, not there. Everyone's like, where's your adult sections? Go there, guys. Try using the arrow keys to scroll side to side. That's true too, Jeff, because the, the pull is a little difficult, but. Dot, I need to go to, um, 
the there we go it's the pirate bay.org all right i'm gonna show you guys this video again so i said lee shore hey i don't say i don't use it at all i use it sometimes too but it's there that often because i literally copy and paste it into every single person that asks me <laughs> where where the adult section went i i i hit it constantly and then just go that's why you don't see a particular page you just see the home page so here we're on it right I can show you this way easier now so we go to video I, I don't ask for a friend I definitely have used it before and uh, along with the other one too <laughs> the other main one so let's search for you check video this is so much easier to see check video so if you have premium eyes on your phone which you can get from the Play Store, all right? And you go here, search for check video, move over. And uh, let's see. Um, we go to, this is so nice to like be able to type with my keyboard and control the phone without, I haven't touched the phone at all. So. <laughs> so it's like at least and safe to his favorites. <laughs> All right, so let's try, I don't know, uh, casino, right? And close the keyboard, and you're going to hit pirate search. All right, I'm in there, and I'm going to go to seeds, S-E, click on it. Sometimes you get this, retry for a live version. It's annoying. If that doesn't work, this is just because people have crazy, see, it's annoying. So mobilethepiratebay.org is giving me an error. The website is just not, there we go. Now I have the seeds up there, 230, all right? So you see this little icon right here? I'm going to click that and watch what happens automatically I'm in the premiumize app it says finished because premiumize already has it so transfer is finished now if I hit here I can see my files there it is all right so if I click this folder what's in it the movie is right here I can right click I can click on this and say available offline file will be available offline soon so I'm just taking the movie and making it available. No, I'm just using Premiumize right here. This is the Premiumize app RB and just Chrome on my phone. And let's do, let's look at, because remember they're folders, they download entire folders as the torrent, right? So let's go to Forrest Gump. Only the file is there and you can see it's already available offline. I'm going to go back to Goodfellas, which I did yesterday. Open the folder. Here's the movie. I just want to make the movie available offline. And then now if I go to offline, it still hasn't finished downloading the other one. But you can see Forrest Gump. All right. And if I just click it, it starts playing right away. That's on my phone. Okay. I'm going to stop that, go back. And if I go into Goodfellas, here's the movie. Inside of there, click it, just starts playing. And I'll go back again. So let's see downloads. Uh, that's complete. On Oh, that's on. that one's failed. I don't know what that is. I'm going to kill that. But completed. Casino's already there. All right, my files, these are your files online. Um, Storm, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. So if I open the casino folder, here's the, the movie. I already hit make available offline, right? File is available offline now, it says. So offline there it is it finished i open the folder there's the file click it and it's playing 
and sorry it's making sound through my phone which I didn't want it to do watch me get a hit for that <laughs> yeah it's all it's offline all the time that's now on your phone the only way to access it though is through this app it keeps it contained uh, at least for now so you can go back and you'll be right back in Pirate Bay you're on video and you could search for something else and try to get something else and put it right on your phone all right if you just keep going back so that's essentially how that works um, so that was a good quick first uh, video it happened real fast all I did was download visor from the Play Store onto my phone and then I went online to um, let me minimize this actually how do I get out of full screen mode in this now I guess I got to go back into the settings and take full screen mode off gonna minimize this real quick open up my regular browser All right um, let me go back here all right then type in visor Google Play Store on your PC all right you're gonna get here and you're gonna just when you first hit it all right you're gonna need to hit right here read more after you Google Visor, Google Play Store, V-Y-S-O-R, you hit Read More. It tells you, I already did that, install Visor for Android. You get that from the Play Store. You can watch this video if you need to for how to enable USB debugging, but I told you how to do it. You just got to enable your developer options and then find USB debugging and turn it on. Then download the Visor Chrome app. So you would just highlight all this, copy it, open a new window, paste it, hit Enter and I already have it but it will say install app right here instead of launch app and then Windows users will need to install ADB drivers so you just highlight that copy put it up here once you paste it in okay and you press enter it's gonna automatically download the drivers which when downloaded will show up in your download folder as this universal ADB driver setup MSI you install them plug your phone in via USB cable and you're done um, so that's really all that takes can you cast from the app uh, cast as in like cast to your Chromecast and stuff I don't know it's meant to go to your PC honestly that's what it's meant to do if you can cast um, it probably wouldn't be the best idea like if you're trying to cast like movies or something I wouldn't do that I'd use the apps that are meant for casting that but it's meant to mirror your screen onto your PC and allow you to control the phone through the PC um, somebody asked can you do this with real debrid you can do something like this with real debrid but it's not exactly the same as what I showed you with premiumize um, I was just using that as an example because I, I was trying to show you guys the premiumize app on the shield but it's not really meant for the shield It's meant for your portable devices um, so this gave me a nice option to do that as well as control some other things um, there's another app for Android 2 which I can show you right here right um, so my my size stayed messed up oh it's because I'm sideways okay hang on go back that way there we go uh, let me go back to webcam. So over here, right? I'm going to move that to the center, sort of. Shrink it down a little bit. There we go. There's other sites, too, besides Pirate Bay. But there is an app uh, that I just installed as well called AZ Screen Recorder. It's right here. I paid $2 for this app to allow for it to not have any ads and it's like a lifetime license all right two bucks that's all it costed and as you can see i have it set to show my picture and i can play anything that's on the screen with this app as well but this won't send it into the pc so this is more meant like if you want to record locally or you can stream there's all kinds of setups for this, right? Record audio. Um, I hope I'm not coming in through twice. 
but you can show camera or not show camera so that turns that off um, time recording controller type so these are your settings your video settings you can also do uh, allow yeah that's fine so no video has been recorded yet no screenshot has been captured so I can do this and say record allow it to record audio allow AZ screen recorder will start capturing everything that's displayed on your screen start now hi guys I'm recording this quick video to my phone just so that I can see that this works pull down notification to stop recording it says got it so I'm gonna go here and then I'm gonna open the um, premiumize app just for fun premiumize and we can see my files I can move myself on the screen here view offline and there's my offline files and then I'm supposed to slide down from the top it says to stop the recording which I did and the video is now saved so I can share that play it so that's AZ screen recorder guys so I'm gonna I'm gonna shut AZ off you do that by dragging down you get your notification right here and you exit out and that closes it so um, but the recording is saved somewhere now so if I go to uh, I have it on my home screen photos and let's do device folders yep there's AZ recorder free and there's my video hi guys just so that you can hear I it. can see that this works. Pull down notification to stop recording. It says, got it. So I'm going to... So that's it. AZ Screen Recorder is also in the Play Store. Let me minimize this and bring back up my window here. So AZ Screen Recorder. It does not require root either. It is this app that I just installed. And once you install it, you can, um, yeah, Clockwork Mod, right, Jeremy? They used to be involved a lot in, in rooting. Um, so this requires no root. Two bucks, once you have it installed, gets you no ads and unlimited time. So if you're interested in that, I'll be making some recordings from this as well. So when I want to do mobile things and show you guys stuff on the phone. Um, and that's really that. So that's another one. Those are the two I would recommend. Uh, as of now, AZ Screen Recorder is awesome. Uh, and Visor clearly works if you need to control your phone from your PC. Uh, I will check out the one that was mentioned earlier as well. You can't control it from the PC, but you can send it to the PC. And I will check that out. That was, uh... Black Entertainment TV said check to check that out. So I will try that as well. But uh, Sean says I can't get Easy News to play in Gaia any info. It says direct but no joy to play. If it says direct it should work. Um, maybe there's some kind of slight issue right now. I don't know. Uh, but not that I'm aware of. Let's go over here. I think I have mine set up in here already. I don't remember if I did it or not. If I didn't, if I didn't, I'll have to help you on the next video. But I thought I did. I definitely got to head out of here to work soon too. But this is a great tool, guys. It will allow me to show you stuff from the phone very easily. I'm going to try to next stream maybe get the video file to show up in there. That's probably going to allow me to have it a lot cleaner than just sharing the whole screen. Um, but if I, let me look in Gaia real quick. I'll do like a movie. I think I have it set here.
Damn, I really would like to get something that's not quite so... Really? They have WWE SummerSlam 2019 showing up in Gaia movies? <laughs> that's interesting. I don't know. Let's look at... This is not... Is this the new one? I don't know. Can't tell. Depends. If you're putting in links or something, Jeremy, it might not show. I've kind of messed about with this installation a little bit, but I think I added my, my uh, easy news in here. But I got to say, Visor was really easy. You just follow those instructions and you're good. So this does not have it. I don't know if I've added mine. I might not have, but I thought I did. No, here goes Easy News, Premium, Direct. It needs to say Premium, Direct. All right. Um, and I'm going to click it and I'm going to stop it pretty quick. But let's just see if it plays plays no problem so I'm not sure why it's not playing for you if you see that easy news premium direct it should play from there uh, Sean you have like the big gig one right make sure you're not you haven't like overused it in testing because I have an unlimited if you don't have unlimited there's a limit but the limits pretty high if you have the big gig one if you have the the small smaller one you might have uh, overdone it already but it should just play like I just got it to play Have I tried any more file manager apps that work good? I have not. But somebody told me to try FX. Let's check out FX. Because I really don't like uh, Explore at all. But somebody said check out FX. A couple of people actually said that. So let's look at FX real fast. FX File Explorer. Apparently there's a plus key license also. So that's three bucks, but let's try it without the plus key license. Um, make sure in Gaia settings that SSL is checked. Also, Sean, if it doesn't have SSL checked, it won't stream. So go into your settings of Gaia and make sure SSL is in there. It's in your account settings uh, and then where you where it shows premiumized, there's a checkbox for SSL there. So let's open FX File Manager. Apparently I have to accept this long agreement. Uh, I will allow. Scroll to the right to continue. The three dots main menu is used to access all basic features. Well, that's new. Obviously not. Uh, tap the plus button in the action bar to touch select files. You can also long press. Okay. Okay. Drag outward from the left edge of the screen. Well, obviously I can't do that in the shield because I can't drag. Start a seven-day trial of FX Plus now. Um, yeah, why not? Because I don't mind paying for things if they're good. So what do we get here? I'm going to have to move myself. Uh, 
I'll move over here. So we have settings. This is pretty basic. More options on the side. Connect to storage, mount eject, home theme, display a section icon. Geez, I'm still blocking the screen. Grid, okay. So that's not too many things here. Let's back out of that. So I'm here, here's my download window. That's clearly working. By the way, guys, uh, Zion and is working again. Uh, it was just the TVDB was having trouble yesterday. So Zion and Cinema should be fine. I'll check them in a second, but I checked them on my phone this morning and they were working. So I can see my stuff. Um, USB drive, no items. That's interesting. Images, has that, okay. Cloud storage, no saved connections, use the add menu. So what can I add for cloud storage? Okay, so this is like uh, like ES. I used to add my Google Drive in, and then I could download and install apps from my Google Drive uh, using ES. So I can do that too. I already like this better than uh, Explore. Explore is annoying. So as of now, FX would be my my preferred choice i'm going to check out a few more but what's this fx connect fx connect requires location permission on android 8. google made this change to android 8. Bop, 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 bop. so i have to grant access location allow transfer files and media directly between two devices running fx that's cool okay So this will allow you to install FX on your phone, have the apps downloaded on your phone or whatever you want downloaded on your phone, open up FX on your shield and send the apps back and forth between the devices. So I'm digging this. I like the layout is easy, simplistic, right? You can do split view so you can get more than one. I gotcha. And you can close off one of them over here. All right. This is pretty easy. The settings are not crazy. Configure home screen. Uh, set defaults for opening files, file management, media management, special folders, thumbnails, security, network, web access, FX Connect. Yeah, right now FX is definitely my choice. I've only tried FX and Explore because those are the two people recommend the most. And I'm definitely a much bigger fan of FX just off one use. I really did not like Explore at all. So FX, if you're asking me for a file manager, try it. Try FX. Ron says FX File Explorer, FX File Manager. I would assume they're the same. If not, uh, I missed that. So if I go back to apps, get more, search. Um, whoops. FX. What did I do here? Uh, search. I have FX File Explorer. This is the Explorer Plus key. I don't see a manager. Just see Explorer. It's called FX File Explorer, and then it says the File Manager something. So it's the same app, File Explorer, File Manager. There's only one. Let's put that bad boy to sleep. And go back here. Hippie Girl says, I really like FX. I've been using it for a while now. It's nice. It definitely looks nice to me. Um... Sean said, sorry, don't see SSL in Gaia. Hold on, I'll show it to you. Real quick, I got to wake the shield up again. You have to go into Gaia.
go into the tools, which will be the last thing down here. You're going to have to go to settings and then advanced. And you're going to go down to accounts. And you have, oh, sorry, encryption. It might be what it is. It's on premiumize. Where is it? Oh, never mind. It's not there. So it should just work. Make sure enable is on. Make sure your username and password is right. Maybe run the wizard again. It was, I'm sorry, it was for, uh, it's for premiumize that you need encryption to be tagged. Um, apparently, it's much easier on easy news. You just need your username and password. So my fault. That was under premiumize. Make sure that it's maybe maybe redo your username and password again. Get it to tell you that it's verified. Um, it should work. If you're seeing them there and, and it says direct, you should be able to just click it and play it because it should be using your your authentication to play. Um, let me put this to sleep again. I mean, that's literally all I have to do to make it work. So it should be okay. Um, Jeremy, whatever you're typing is getting deleted by Storm for a reason. Uh, whatever it is you're typing in there. Oh, Jeremy's saying premium, he enjoyed the premiumized codes. No problem, my man. I'm glad you enjoyed them. Yeah, Doug says Easy News has SSL as part of the address to their server. So, yeah, I'm assuming that Gaia co connects correctly. No, it works for me, though, Doug. So if it's working for me, it should work for Sean also. Because uh, he's, you know, got the same add-on I'm using. And he's got the big gig plan, which should let him do it. I would hit up Easy News and see if maybe they could help you if you don't get it to work. But the first thing I would do is try reauthorizing it in Gaia again. Yeah, port definitely has to be correct. They used to let you customize that on the website, but it's kind of all gone now. Um, I don't see the, the, porting, the port options anymore on their website. Dylan says, I'm still holding on to ES File Explorer. He hopes it gains in value like Flappy Bird. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Dylan. I like that. I couldn't figure out how to download an APK in File Explorer. Um, you don't really need to download the APK. Oh, because you, you want to download it like you used to in ES? I got to look into that. I don't know if they have a browser, but just use Puffin on the Shield, download it, then op you can install it right from Puffin. You don't really need this to install stuff. People were just asking for a good file browser, but Puffin is so much easier. Um, um, I would just use Puffin to get your, your apps. But there probably is a web, a website ability in there, because it does allow you to connect to, uh, your Google Cloud, which means it's going to show you some form of browser. So it probably can be done. I'll have to look into it. I gotta go to work now though, so I can't start messing around with something I haven't used yet. Uh, might take me a minute, but I would just use uh, the Puffin TV web browser. Add your favorites, download your apps from there. All right, Jeremy, take care. But what you could do is if you have more than one shield, once you have the downloads, 
you can then send files across or if you download them to your phone you can use that section i just showed you to send files across your network to another device and install them without having to go ahead and go to the web addresses for everything again yeah it has doug doug says easy news website has changed a lot Kiko is not getting notifications all the time, and I'm not. Yeah, I'm not sure what's up with that. Maybe they're hating on me. I don't know, but uh, it is what it is. I can't change it. Fired up my fork this morning. Got a message saying Orion update failed. Uh, yeah, I would just uh, wait it out. If there was an update that failed, it should eventually. You know, I. Close your close your uh, close your fork, clear the cache, clear the data, reboot the device, open it again. It could be in the process of updating something, uh, so it's failing. But it happens every once in a while. If it stays like that forever, then we'll have to work something out. But short short time period, sometimes that happens if you happen to catch them in the process of the their repos updating the add-on. Uh, it could be trying to update before it's complete, things like that. All right, guys, I'm going to finish getting ready for work and get out of here. But uh, we got Visor working. I showed you guys AZ Screen Recorder. So I did pay for Visor. It was 40 bucks, $39.99, one-time license. You guys wouldn't really have to do that. I'm doing that because I share the screen with you, and I want to have all the options to be able to share the screen with you the best way. So this will help the channel. So that 40 bucks will be a good investment back into the channel for you guys. Uh, AZ screen recorder is free, but if you pay two bucks one time, it takes away all the ads, lets you record long sessions. So I'll be able to actually hold my phone in front of my face and record things I'm doing on the screen. You'll still see a camera, hear my voice, which is really cool when you think about it. It's like recording an entire YouTube video right on your phone. So AZ screen recorder has a pretty dope, uh, dope app for that. And it's definitely considered the editor's choice uh by just about everybody it's got four and a half stars across the play store with over a million downloads and uses so i if you're looking for something like that to record your screen and you don't want to root your phone az screen recorder is the way to go pay the two bucks get it unlocked with everything uh and visor is awesome if you're a youtuber and you're trying to share your screen so people like jugs that just saw me do visor or anybody else that's in here uh that wants to be able to control their phone from their PC while they're streaming on the PC, Visor definitely seems to work really well. It's nice, it's smooth. I didn't have any issues with it, and I'll definitely keep using it to bring you guys new content. Um, Shine says, remember to stick around for the credits. There won't be a lot of credits this time, because I think the only thing that happened since I started this show was Storm sent a super chat. So the credits are going to be Storm super chatting, but I will roll them. So credits are coming right up. And uh, I'll take, what time is it? I can take about one minute if you guys have any questions that I didn't answer. Um, sorry to Sean that didn't get their stuff working. The only thing I know to tell you to do is to reauthorize it. I've never had it not work when I click the stream. I mean, how many did you try? Because maybe it's possible that a link is showing up there that's just not accessible at the moment. I would try on a few others because if you're seeing it, it should work. Uh, and as long as you can get one to play, then it might be possible that whatever links you were trying just aren't connecting at the moment for some reason. Um, they do have retention. Uh, it's a long retention time, but something older may have fallen out of retention if nobody else has shared it within the news group as well or kept it going. Um, definitely try a few others. If none of them work, reauthorize it. If that doesn't work, maybe run through the wizard of Gaia again, setting it up through the wizard, like uninstall completely, clear your cache, open it, uh, and then install it again. But I've never had that issue. Uh, I have had a link, like a single link, not play, but it's seem it's kind of rare. Most of them play for me, uh, but I've had a couple that just didn't play. Um, but, you know, I have that on Premium Eyes. I'll have that on Real to Bridge too. It happens sometimes. So unless it's everything, it may not actually be a 
legit problem at this point. Yeah, use AZ, Kiko. AZ screen recorder. Don't use easy. AZ is, uh, I did a lot of research before I chose AZ. Uh, and pretty much everyone and their mama says AZ is the bee's knees. Uh, especially if you don't want to uh, root your stuff. Because it just does it all without root, which is pretty cool. I like that I have an FLV file coming off a of visor that it showed me. I'm going to try to put that in as a source on the next video. Well, maybe not the next one, but the next time that I use my phone screen in a video, I think with that source, it should come in super clean. And that's where you'll see uh, I can kind of design it a little better. But the fact that I could even get it up there and it's nice and smooth to begin with is pretty awesome. When you download to the Premiumize app, can you put it on your local server? I'm waiting on an answer for that. Um, he did just give me a bunch more three-day keys. So I'll probably do another giveaway soon. But he only gave me some three days. So I might have to give you guys like a few three days together. Like I was doing at the end last time. I asked him uh, if he had any more 30s or 90s. Or anything else he could generate. Uh, so I'm waiting to hear back from him on that. As well as if you can put it on your local server. As of now, my understanding is that whatever you download there is stuck in that app. However, that's just to use offline when you're outside. If you sign into Premiumize on your desktop, uh, Shine, you can definitely download whatever is in there directly to your PC and then move it onto your server. No problem. And that's like from their website. So let me see if I can get in mine real quick. I can try to show you that before I go. Uh, log in. So I am now, let's go here. I'm now in my file. So you can see the same three files. I just signed into premiumize.me uh, on my computer. And I went here. I can hit casino and I can get this and I can just hit right here. That's going to download it. All right. Um, you have other options here, right? Copy file link, open stream, cut, rename, delete. But this one is to download this little icon right here. So if I hit this, okay, it starts downloading to my computer. And I can show it in the folder once it's done. It's already downloaded. Okay. Oh, whoops. I downloaded the wrong file. That was not, that was not the MP4. This is the MP4. So, but same idea. All right. Show in folder. Here it is. And then you can just take it and drag it anywhere you want. So here's my My Cloud, here's my media, and here's my movies. And I could make a new folder in here, the way I name my movies in um, in Plex, and just drag that file, all right, which I can show in folder again. And so there's my movies folder. I could just take this and put it into its own folder, and I'd be done. So easy from the PC, but from the app, I think it contains it in the app. Um, he's going to get back to me, though. There may be a way, but I haven't found it. I don't even see it when I look in a file manager or anything. Where can you get a premiumized app? The app, you can get it right from the Google Play Store. So if I'm still connected, I am. I am still connected. So let's go into the Play Store. All right, it's putting me sideways now. Uh, let's go back, go in here and search. Premiumize, there it is, premiumize.me, pops up. I already have it, oh, there's an update. I'm gonna update it. That's it, you get it right in the Play Store on your phone or tablet, it's right in there. Let's open it, because it says it has an update that's supposed to be better. Apparently the update is to the player. So if I want to play this file. Nope, don't want to make that sound. But I can full screen it. Out of full screen. So I don't know what the update actually is. But it's working. <clears throat> Alright guys, be good. 
I'm off to work. Take care. Stay supreme. Maybe I'll be back tonight. I might have something else to do. I still want to get to some of these Z boxes I got sitting over here uh, that Storm, Storm sent me. Um, but I thought it would be cool to try to get that set up. And it was actually super, super easy. So if you don't, if you don't, you don't need to pay for it, right? You'll get an ad every 15 minutes if you don't pay. But Visor is a big thumbs up for me as a streamer and someone that deals with a lot of Android to be able to show that to you guys easily across the uh, across my network. So I'm with it. Stay supreme, y'all. Check out Visor. Check out AZ um, Screen Recorder. Remember, AZ, not easy. And I'm out of here. Be good. Peace out. Stay supreme. Love you guys. Going into my credits for Storm. So hang on. They really need a more intuitive way to do this. Boom. Done deal. <laughs> Have a good day, everybody. We'll be back. Stay supreme.